We explain the contributions of the Tang Dynasty from 618 to 907. Out of the unsettled centuries since the fall of the Han, China was moving back towards a unified empire with the short-lived Sui dynasty. Despite their short and often violent reign of power, Sui refocused on massive building projects like the Canal and the Great Wall, restructuring the bureaucracy, allowing for the spread of Buddhism, and also they bred a push for equal land distribution. The fall of the Sui and the rise of the Tang continued this upward pattern. It's been stated that the Tang was one of China's greatest dynasties in terms of military, economic growth, advances in the arts and the field of education. However, the mandate of heaven and filial piety, which means respecting dynastic transition, was often thrown out, as was the case of the second emperor, Taizong, who murdered his brothers and forced his father out of rule. Also worth mentioning is Empress Wu, China's first and only female ruler. There's much speculation and rumor that surround her reign. Some historians believe the stories of her murdering off her daughter or killing off a series of rivals only exist to cast a bad light on her because she was a female ruler. She did take power during her husband's reign and continued to control China after his death. She tried to put her two sons in place to rule but had them removed for being ineffective. Her policies on taxation, agriculture, and more revolutionized China. Under the Tang rulers, China prospered, with a civil service exam to make government jobs merit-based, a public education system for every village, a land distribution program, new laws, a new Chinese language, and expansion to making Korea and Tibet into vassal states. The Tang Dynasty's advancement in the arts and technology would open up China more to the world. It was even China's golden age of poetry. The Tang would also provide the world with gunpowder and block printing on a renewed silk road that expanded into Southeast Asia. Shangong became the richest city in the world.